Today is the day that a dream comes to life. I've been envisioning this day for many years now. Six years ago, I had a life-changing event, one car trip that changed the way I live my life forever. I got paralyzed and my life has never been the same again. Now, I'm not talking about the obvious fact that I can't walk. This event has impacted my life so greatly that even as I start walking again tomorrow, I simply can't be the same person who I was when I was perfectly able. The point is, I've always known I'll be telling my story on a large platform, such as writing a book or making a movie, or perhaps even both. But the story had to be told. The past six years have been quite the journey. What feels like a roller coaster from having it all and then losing it in seconds. I had to gradually claw my way back to life, just trying to reclaim what I had. I call this seeking normality. But the fact is, we weren't made to be normal. And we all have a story to tell that's unique and inspiring in some way or form. And by sharing our stories, we can always help someone in the process. Because what we conquer gives us authority over. This year, I took on the biggest challenge of my life. Swimming from this remote, desolate, wilderness island into my promised land, covering eight kilometers of open ocean, freezing cold water, and of course, being Cape Town, the probability of encountering a shark. For an experienced swimmer, this won't be as challenging, but here's the thing. I couldn't swim a few years ago. This was a massive challenge to me, even as an able-bodied athlete, and neither has any paraplegic in the world done this iconic Robben Island crossing before. To be quite honest, this scared me to even think about it. But the truth is, this was more than proving to myself that I can do this. This was being obedient to what God has called me. Being obedient to my purpose. The walls of Jericho have fallen, once and for all. Six years of wandering around in the desert has finally come to an end. Now, I understand everything I had to go through to get to this point today. Otherwise, there wouldn't have been a testimony. And now, I'm finally ready to share it with the world. Okay, let's do this.